Hey everyone, how are you? Okay, today I'm gonna show you a super um, cool design and it's like a accessory. It's something that is cool to know how to make to add to another balloon design. Like for example, a person that is drinking wine. So you have to make that person, right? And what I'm gonna show you how to make, it's gonna be the glass of wine with wine inside. That's the idea, basically. And this is what it is. Look, what do you think? Hmm? The cool thing is you can impress people showing um, that it's a balloon inside another balloon, you know, representing the wine inside the glass. And it's not hard, but um, let's see what do you think? Because I think you have to have a very strong finger. <laughs> let's do this. So for this, uh, you're going to see the design all the time there. And Cool thing is you just need balloon scraps. So I'm using a 350 balloon scrap uh, clear and then you're gonna use another balloon scrap, but this one is gonna be red or the color of the one you want to uh, be showing. You know, this is uh, the crystal red, right? Ruby red, but there's also really cool colors, you know, in Qualitex or Vitalitex that you can play with that are more purplish, purplish, yes. Okay, so what I did is I put it inside. The balloon inside, the red balloon, it's a 260, and the one outside is a 350 or 360. Okay, so now you have to blow a little bit, and this is the thing. Let's try and see with my regular pump, it's gonna work. Oh, okay, because I have the legenda, and it's easier that way. But probably um, people in Peru don't have the legenda yet. So just in case, let's go with the basics. A regular manual pump. Okay, okay, let's start this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to inflate first the clear 350. And it's not much, unless you wanna make a big glass. <laughs> okay, you just inflate it like this. That's good enough, two pumps. And now we're gonna inflate the red one. So you have to um, pull the red balloon a little bit so it's easier to connect it, you see? Oh, okay, there you go. So when it's connected there, you just can accommodate things. Oh, and again, back there, grab two balloons, pull this to make sure, and you're gonna inflate. And it's gonna be a little bit harder because there is two balloons, right? So let's see. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, there you go. So you are gonna need just a little bit of both, so you always lose air, and you grab these two balloons and tie them. So what you can do here is you can cut this excess. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now you're gonna do the apple twist, but because there are two balloons, it's gonna be a little bit harder, okay? So first I recommend you to squeeze the balloon, especially the red one inside. The red one has to be very squished. And make sure the red balloon also goes all the way here. Okay, so now your index, you're gonna make an apple twist, but grab the red also. So that's the tricky part, grab it, so then it doesn't go all the way. And look, it's happening this and it's okay. You can keep going, keep going to make it because what I like about that uh, effect it's like the glass is, you see, not full. It's, and there you're gonna grab the knot that is already, you know, holding these fingers, ah, my right hand, these fingers, and that's what you're gonna do. So let's do this again. It's faster if you do it with not teaching, you know? <laughs> but let's do this again. So I grab, play, up, oh, maybe not. Okay, let's see. but as soon as you do it, it looks really good. Okay. Oh no, I lose air. Bummer. If that happened to you, <laughs> you can cry, you can cry. Or you can just fix it, let's see. Let's fix it. So you grab all these, cut it, and let's inflate the red one again. <laughs> I know, you see, it's been a while that I'm not twisting as often and I usually twist. Usually, I used to twist every day. Not anymore, I know. 
tell me in the comments what are you doing if you're a balloon twister and with all these um COVID-19 and quarantines and no people not working what are you doing or if you're working uh what are you doing you know what I start doing it's the famous now very popular balloon art decor which I was you know thinking it's not gonna work especially where I live so this time look um it's uh now I inflate the red one first and let's try now inflate the, the the clear balloon second you know what I mean so maybe that way it will be easier this is like more an experimental uh video but I'm telling you I I made this before and every time I think how to make a glass of wine or a drink you know I think of this way that it have to be a balloon inside another balloon so it may be easier if you inflate first the two, red balloon to 60 and second the 350 balloon so we're gonna do this again we're gonna try and what I was thinking the balloon gel decor is not gonna work here where I live because it's super windy but I start you know practicing learning how to do that and I'm very happy to say that it works and it's super cool idea and I'm I'm okay I prefer more twisting right twisting balloons at parties that's my favorite thing to do but this time so it's okay 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 now let's do the apple twist again and wish me luck <laughs> it's not easy because you have to first be very strong with this finger <laughs> and push it and while you push you see you push it these two fingers are going to grab the knot that is inside right so that's what you're gonna do that's what i'm doing grab it and now look i'm using it in my thumb to pull my finger out and ah, i did it <laughs> amazing this is amazing i did it and look i'm squishing this the 350 just so i keep more space <laughs> see here up that way it looks like the glass is not totally full you know and that's kind of an idea you decide what to do there Ta-da! yeah i <laughs> love it i know it's not easy okay so in order to make this part now easier so the hardest part has been this we're gonna grab a balloon scrap of uh, 160, what is this, clear, okay? So let's twist, twist, twist as much as you can and then grab this 160 and grab it around like this and tie it. And when it's locked there, you can make, uh, you can pop this. Yep, you can pop it, so my thumb. There you go. Pop. Now you can even cut that part. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. And when you have this already cut it, you can, uh, if it's already you're using a balloon scrap 160, you can inflate that part. So that's gonna be this part of the glass. And also you will have enough balloon if you're using, with just a balloon scrap, it's gonna be enough balloon, trust me. So I'm gonna inflate this now. So this one, and inflating. Because I have my, but I don't know where. My, okay, so let's see. I think this will be enough. So what you're gonna need of a balloon scrap inflated 160. It's going to be for two, two, 16 finger bubble. Okay, now here you can leave it like that, but I don't think it's gonna be too stable. That's why I made the two pinch twist. So you decide what do you prefer because I think it looks cleaner without a pinch twist. But just to make sure it's stable, I'm gonna do the pinch twist. So I'm gonna make one finger bubble, pinch twist, and another one finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay, so we already did the hardest part. There you go. That's how it looks. And with this technique, you can make lots of cool things. If you imagine are really good and you do the apple twist, but on top you just leave like a, a straw, you know, you can make like a margarita glass, you know, like, or um, I don't know. Tell me if you have more ideas and if you can make it, share pictures. I love to see your pictures on Instagram, on Facebook. You know, it's so cool. It makes me very happy to see that, you know, people is 
trying to do the designs I'm doing on YouTube. Okay, so now you can measure here four finger bubble and then a pinch twist. Twist. Then you're just gonna make a little bubble here, a one finger bubble. And you're gonna make another pinch twist now with another little bubble here. One finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay. Now you're gonna just go around and the thing is you can leave it you know as long as you want you can make one round or you can make another a second one so you decide in my case i think it's easier to make just only one okay so i'm gonna cut this and that's it twist tie lock and just accommodate things but there you go you can always show you know because most of the time and it's very important to have the perfect picture the picture you know is the one that sh it's helping a lot um, of the designs you know to look cool is the way you take the picture so make sure the front part is the best one so that's what I'm doing for me this is how it goes so um, tell me in the comments what do you think about this design let me know if you think it's too hard I know a lot of my designs are more elaborated than regular YouTube videos you're gonna see on uh, YouTube, right? But the cool thing is, um, if you can make this, you know, it's not that you just learn a design, it's also you learn techniques. And that's gonna help you to create your own designs because that's the goal. After, you know, practicing a lot of designs from others on YouTube, you can make your own designs. And I think it's a really cool idea, it's funny and now, this is what I made before uh, for this centerpiece, you see? I made that for a birthday girl who likes to uh, drink wine, of course. So, um, and then she also likes to cook, so that's what I make that girl with the apron. But she's holding this design, the glass of wine. So, now, in another, you know, designs or times, I made the idea, the same idea of the apple twist, but using like, what is this? Five inch round balloons. So let's do that. Let's see what happens if it's going to be the same. I think probably we're going to have to just be inflating these balloons very little. So what I'm putting is the red balloon inside that five inch round um, clear, you know, and um, let's go with the easy part. Remember I said first we're going to blow the red. And look, just this little. What is this little? It's just like less than four finger. Bubble, even less and then we're gonna blow the clear balloon also very little just crack a pump and that's gonna be good enough okay so we always to make the balloon easier to twist we're gonna lose some air and then we tie it and in order to make the apple twist in balloons five inch rounds I think it's better if you tie it very close to the nozzle okay so we'll push up everything and then we're gonna do the apple twist. Look, you're gonna have something like this. And it looks funny, but you see a lot of things that you are making in the while on the process to making another designs can give you ideas for another design. So um, I don't know what do you think. <laughs> okay, let's go with the apple twist. Again, grab your uh, finger, put it inside and go to the other side here and do the apple twist. So. And oh, look, it's even easier. And this glass looks fancier, don't you think? It's another type of glass. Now you do the apple twist, grab a um, piece of 160 clear. I'm gonna use a new one because I know um, we're gonna be um, hiding. So I'm gonna inflate it first. I think that's gonna be easy. So that's what I'm doing. I inflate this balloon like approximately like. 15 finger tail and I'm gonna make sure I tied it but I tied it around the apple twist so when you are there first tidying it oh my goodness make sure you tied it with not making a hole because that's what I did maybe it's easier just to tie the balloon and then think about making the shape but it's okay 
Okay, now you connected. We're gonna make two pinch twists. And if you don't wanna make the two pinch twists, try it. But I think two pinch twists is not so bad. And it's gonna help, you know, to keep your glass looking better. And even three pinch twists, why not? Why not? I'm gonna go with three pinch twists. Okay. I did it. Three pinch twists. La -da! Oh. You can always play with the chair, but look at this. I think it looks much better. Or no, this is more like a church. Like when you go to the church and you have this type of glass. <laughs> and this one is more for a party. Or, you know, those wine glasses. Okay, now you measure four finger bubble. And then you go with pinch it. Oh, remember one more thing. If you want to make it to adapt it to another design, that is a girl holding the glass. So you make sure, for example, the hand is gonna be like this, right? You have a hand, let's make a hand so you can understand better what I'm talking about, okay? So basic hands for balloon figurines, bodies. Uh, you just make a loop and a pinch twist. That's the basic and that's representing a hand. You see, that represents one hand. So imagine you have the hand, you know, and you want to make sure it connects so you just make sure kind of like the idea when how it is someone holding the glass make a little bubble and pass it around you see so it's gonna look something like this okay but in this case what i'm gonna show you is the whole process so i'm gonna take the hand out and we're gonna keep going okay so we have this we're gonna make a four finger bubble and then one little bubble, one finger bubble, pinch twist, one finger bubble, another one finger bubble, and that last one, make a pinch twist. Then we're gonna grab this and pass it around. So you see, the process is the same, but I'm playing here with a five inch round clear with a five inch round red. And I think I love it. Bam! You close. And that's it. If you want to go around one more time, go ahead. Go around one more time with the 160 to make this, you know, like that bigger. But um, I prefer like this. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's a really cool design. Mm -hmm. Yes, it looks like a glass of wine. Well, <laughs> you have to use our imagination, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for subscribing, for liking the videos. Please comment, what are you doing on these days? If you're a balloon twister, because I'm curious, because it's hard to figure out what to do now, you know, if we uh, have to keep the social distance and you work with, you know, no social distance. <laughs> so what do you do? The balloon art yard, it's a really cool idea. Um, but what else could we do? I was thinking, you know, ideas, and but then the other thing is, how to make a real <laughs> you know I, I was thinking about you know do kind of like entertaining making balloons but in a kind of parade so i go with my car and if you have a track better yet like a trailer idea and you are there you know have your trailer decorated and you entertain the kids and the kids are watching you by their window mm. but it's a lot of things right to think and ideas and and the balloon yard is the most fitting because it works it works and i'm very happy with it the other thing is balloon delivery but tell me in the comments please i would love to hear that comment because i'm looking for ideas what to do in my fellow balloon twister my children that is my balloon twister and my dog that is my balloon twister thank you so much for watching <laughs>